हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर विद्या जाधव ऑब्स्टेटिशन एंड गायनेकोलॉजिस्ट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द पॉलिसिस्टिक ओवेरियन डिसीज द पॉलिसिस्टिक ओवेरियन डिसीज क्वाइट अ कॉमन डिसीज फाउंड इन मेनी फीमेल्स व्हाट इज इट इट इज अ डिसीज व्हिच अकर्स इन अ बॉडी बिकॉज ऑफ हार्मोनल इम्बैलेंस इट डू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ सिम्टम्स वॉट आर दे देर इज इरेग्युलर मेन्सेस इनएबिलिटी टू कंज्यूम or infertility weight gain excessive acne hirsutism body pigmentation and sugar intolerance so this group of the symptoms which are caused because of the hormonal disturbances they are called as polycystic ovarian disease they are called so because the structural change in ovaries are cyst like things are seen in ovaries and that's why it is called as polycystic ovarian disease Why does polycystic ovarian disease occur? It has multiple reasons why polycystic ovarian disease or the symptoms are seen. It start with a hereditary or genetic tendency. It is predisposed in a families. It is mostly precipitated or started due to the lifestyle disorders like their lifestyle whose lifestyle is more of sedentary there is less physical activity those patients are more prone for the pcos dietary changes is again another factor which leads to the pcos having more of junk food packed food bakery products oily spicy fatty products and having less of green vegetables fruits which are rich in antioxidant and irregular dietary habits this leads to the symptoms of the pcos there's another reason theory suggested which causes pcos is inflammation of the ovary so these multiple factors leads to the formation of the multiple cyst in the ovaries and which manifest as a pcos what are the symptoms of the pcos increased weight gain which is unexplained irregularities of the menses it can be in the form of delayed menses less menstrual bleeding irregular menses or sometimes it can be a heavy menses also associated with the acne multiple hirsutisms and intolerance to the sugar which means to the diabetic like changes the female who is trying to conceive there is a difficulty for conceiving and the pregnancy also that is fertility or infertility how do we confirm the diagnosis of the pcos if you see any symptoms as suggested by me you can meet your gynecologist and your gynecologist can confirm your dis- uh, disease of the polycystic ovarian uh, disease by doing ultrasonography of the pelvis where multiple ovarian cysts are seen and some blood hormonal levels which will confirm increased level of the luteinizing hormone and compared to that little less level of the fsh like hormone and increased level of the androgens in the body what is the treatment of the pcos pcos can be treated by multiple ways it start with the reducing the risk factor by doing dietary changes and exercise which will lead to the decrease in your weight which is unexplained weight gain because of the hormonal imbalance and it itself will try and resolve your hormonal problem in mild to moderate cases it can be the only treatment for the pcos for the infertile couples it may need sometimes hormonal and non hormonal treatment by the gynecologist thank you